Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and this is going to be a late 2023 Ergo Mouse Roundup. This is not going to be like your typical top five video, but I'm just going to be talking about Ergo Mice, really listing some pros and cons of each, going through the different categories of them. Really, there only are a few, like lighter mice, EC clones, and then not EC clones. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to start off with the Pulsar x Lite V3 ES, um, because this I am going to review soon. And this is really Pulsar's take on a Zowie Pro product because they have the base version which feels in hand more like a pulsar product ignore that dot skate um nightmare but yeah this is literally they have a more zowie-esque coating where it's going to be grippy rubbery but it will it is a fingertip magnet or a fingerprint magnet rather they even have this little red bar down here like the red zowie logo i found that found that pretty interesting in terms of design choice and they've also taken zowie's plug and play like esports mouse philosophy they have an oled screen at the bottom you can see you can adjust your polling rate here and uh yeah this does come in at 64 grams so it's even a little bit heavier still lighter than zowie's wireless offerings um, but their base model is in the mid 50 gram range so yeah if you're basically just looking for a zowie mouse 4k polling compatible but like from a fucking different company in pulsar this is pretty much what you're going to wind up with if you're just looking for a cheap light ergo um, at 130 dollars it's not going to be my recommendation i am going to review like put a full review of this mouse up soon but since i haven't reviewed that the outset ax the Sprime pm1 i was like fuck let me just make a roundup and just talk about ergos for a little bit so yeah really i just see the x Lite v3 es as a higher tech zowie mouse um when i'm using these performance wise like there's just not a huge difference i probably do prefer pulsar just because of the tech like the skates feel better on most pads uh, but yeah all around the clicks are not anywhere near as light as a zowie mouse so if that's a feature of zowie that you're a big fan of just don't expect that whatsoever with the pulsar x light v3 es the clicks are not heavy but since they're opticals they just are going to feel a lot less they just don't have the same light spammable instant rebound feeling but they're not poor quality i would say i'm kind of spending a lot of time i think i should have just done a fucking x light v3 review but yeah some other mice this compares well to our other ec clones even though death hour v3 isn't quite a clone but yeah the death hour v3 and the glorious model d2 pro is that what this is called the newest version um these stack up pretty well i would say lacking a coating and just being from glorious at 130 dollars the same price point as the x v3 es it probably loses out for me i've done some head-to-head -head testing i just don't hate the x v3 like it doesn't feel like a brick it doesn't feel too heavy but it definitely has a little bit more weight to it i have mentioned though that if i'm not fingertip gripping a mouse i don't necessarily believe that lighter is better i think something like 50 60 grams is really perfectly fine and yeah the way i claw grip the x v3 es like i don't really have any issues with gripping it weight uh, but i just don't enjoy the shape as much as the death air v3 pro unfortunately Unfortunately, my copy of the Death Air V3 Pro just has so much flex. You might be like, you're a mouse reviewer. Why not just get a new copy? And I don't know. I'm kind of just like torturing myself with this one. I also have some like shitty dot skates on it. Um, so yeah, really, I have not been doing myself any favors with the Death Air V3 Pro. It might have still been my main if my quality never went to shit. Um, but yeah, this is just really my favorite shape for Ergos. I think it's because it is like a modified version of the EC shape. It is large and yeah, it just works for my hand. And I'm a big Ergo hater. Like you guys are going to hear me talk about the Lambsu Thorn in the second in a second and just be like, wow. But yeah, really, the Death Hour V3 is one of the top performing ergo mice on the market. It is obviously like 175 if you include the 4K pulling dongle. But yeah, it's, it really is an incredible mouse, presuming your copy does not go to shit in terms of creaking. But it seems like a good few do. But yeah, it does come in at 64 grams, which is the same weight as the x Lite V3. But it just does feel a lot lighter and the weight just feels better distributed. Not that it's bad on the x Lite V3, but there is just a lot of weight with the OLED screen like and the battery. It does cause some additional weight. Wait, but yeah glorious like i feel like they're still in the conversation but at 130 dollars like that is a premium price and it does come with a 4k dongle so does the x light but yeah i don't know i'd fucking go with the x light over glorious honestly speaking um but yeah the lambsu thorn this is a shape that it seems like critically acclaimed but i just don't think it's a good design at least for large hands with claw grip like while i'm trying to claw grip this mouse even compared to the vaxi outset ax i just feel like this is a better designed shape and with Lamzu, it's an incredible shape for palm grip. Like, I totally get it. Um, the thumb curvature is designed for palm grip. Like, you can see how I'm fucking claw gripping it. Like, 
it just doesn't quite line up with the thumb curvature i have to lie i have to move my fingers up so much to access the side buttons i understand all ergos have high button height but for some reason while i'm using the thorn i just feel like my fingers are like fucking 10 feet off the ground it's just truly an awkward shape and i just don't understand how many people are loving it for claw grip i feel like it's one of those mice that people are like yeah it's good but like they're not actually using it maybe i'm completely wrong in that assessment but yeah i don't know uh, i was never able to be a huge fan of the lambsy thorn it does not really work for fingertip but that's obviously not the point of a ergo mouse video yeah i mean i have really tried i'm good at adjusting to shapes but i've never been able to find a claw grip that i am comfortable with i feel like actually gives me like adequate mobility the one grip i do is like if i grip towards the front of the mouse but i just can't I can't consistently keep that up. So the Lambsu Thorn, despite being extremely light, um, having solid specs, good enough quality for the most part, like I just, I can't come around to it. The Vaxi Outset AX is a similar shape in terms of just like very high profile, like gonna fucking fill up your hand, um, but it is like smaller and even stubbier. It's also much heavier comes in at the low 70 gram range versus the wired version which i enjoyed the shape of those just too fucking high profile it was in the 80 gram range and it had a wire i'm like nobody is actually enjoying this mouse right so they came out with the wireless version it does still have a 3370 both vaxi and zowie are not using 4k polling implementations and it's just like why um i don't quite understand that but you know it is what it is they do have solid 1k implementations um but yeah like 1k 70 gram mouse not a shape that i'm like truly behind um i just yeah i've i've had this mouse for a while i should have reviewed it previously honestly but it's just not something that is for me it is incredibly high quality if you've ever had a wired outset ax and did enjoy it then this is a no-brainer upgrade from Vax. I do like the colors. All the button quality is solid. Vaxi's click tensioning is very similar to Zowie in terms of lightness. I do know that is a feature of these mice that people actually care about a lot. So the x V3 ES, having those heavier optical switches, I do think that could be a deal breaker for some people. But yeah, which of these mice have I not covered? I guess the Sprime PM1 and the Ponage Stormbreaker are really the main two because these are lighter ergos. The Sprime PM1 has been a heavily requested mouse. It's so fucking popular because it was advertised as a G703 clone. I was looking before my video. I can't find my copy of the G703, but it is a significantly smaller mouse. It's basically a mini version. You can see with the hump, Jesus Christ, that is not, not a good look, but you can see it's like almost an ambi mouse from the hump so i have just it's going to take a while because this is just a unique like out there shape but currently it just feels too small for me to really appreciate like the g703 ish size like if it just doesn't quite feel like a g703 unless i'm palm gripping it in which case i can feel um this like left side of the mouse definitely does have g703 vibes but yeah this is a pre-production sample so i guess one of the cons is that you cannot buy it i was getting some like very like typical of a sample but wireless interference issues so i'm not i've not been able to get a ton of legitimate testing like at high performance with this mouse but it does it's very promising a 45 gram carbon composite mouse built extremely well from a fucking startup company i did not think it's real um, because they were only showing renders but once i get a mouse in hand that is pretty much when i determined that it is real um, yeah i'm not gonna like harp on the quality or just anything like that but the sprime pm1 more coverage will come obviously closer to release and i'm gonna keep using it and eventually i'll make like an impressions video um but yeah this i'm just not like i'm not it's not a mouse where i put my hands on it i'm like i'm fucking sold this is the next great ergo like for some people with smaller hands especially it might be but um yeah i definitely have not it did not click for me instantly get it because mouses click or mice click what the fuck am i saying and last but not least um the opponent stormbreaker was a mouse i kind of just like i feel like went under the radar this year there are just so many releases this year that like a fucking 50 gram magnesium ergo mouse just kind of it's like nobody's really talking about it, it is expensive at 180 dollars that's pretty much the price of a starlight more expensive than a wl mouse and i just it was never a mouse that i really liked the side design is obviously fucking horrifying the side buttons were too heavy in my opinion the adjustable sensor position very cool and simply if you want a lightweight ergo um and or really just a magnesium ergo this is going to be your only option at the moment um it is kind of like an ec3 like a mini ec size and it was not a shape that i ever liked and yeah, I kind of think that comes down to how small the mouse was and also how aggressive it is.
is, I mean, in terms of length, I think the only mouse that comes close is the Outset AX in this video. Most of the other mice are significantly longer. So if you do have larger hands, the Stormbreaker, I just don't see any situation where it's a recommendation. Um, I was not able to really enjoy it for claw grip. It does feel very slippery in general. But yeah, the build is solid. I was not a fan of the side cutouts. The clicks themselves were actually not bad in terms of either quality, just heaviness, anything like that. And I think I did mention the adjustable sensor position already, but no other lightweight mice have that as a quirk. So not a big recommendation. Overall from this video, my top recommendations are probably like if you're on a budget, the x Lite series, um, if you want to just go for the bet, what is in my opinion, the cream of the crop of ergos, that is a death error V3. Even with the build quality issues, you are still covered by RMA, like Razor's warranties are fucking solid. Um, so yeah, in theory, if yours does start creaking, you can just get a perfectly fresh new unit. Um, Vaxi and Zowie mice, you just know if you're the type of person who wants a Vaxi or a Zowie mouse. That's my favorite part about that audience. Like I don't need to tell them what they need to buy. Like they fucking know. If you want a Zowie feeling, you're gonna go for Zowie. I mean, some people you can go for Pulsar if you want like the slightly more modernized Zowie feeling. Full review on this dropping soon, by the way. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give just my thoughts on the Ergo market. If you guys have any other questions, if you feel like I did not include any mice, which is totally possible that I just like um, blanked, but I looked around, you know, that's what more can I do as a mouse reviewer. Um, but yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you guys prefer these like rant style roundups, I don't even know what the fuck you call this. Um, just let me know. But yeah, peace out.